Hey guys, what's up? So today for my video, I figured I was going to check out Frost Dragons. Um, the reason why is not only are they known as a very, very good money maker, but I figured they would be pretty good XP as well because they give 1.4k combat XP per kill. So I thought I would try that out and see if they're actually worth doing. Um, the money is decent. It's not the best. You can make a bit more at a few bosses such as Dagonoth Kings or Queen Black Dragon. But I just figured if the mix of money and charms and melee XP per hour was all pretty decent, um, then it would really be worth doing. I found out the charms here aren't great, although you can get a good 50 or so crimsons an hour, uh, 50 greens an hour, roughly in that area. Um, so here I only recorded for 15 minutes, and that is because um, if you look a bit later, what actually happened is I was attacking the frost dragons with the orb around it. Um, and for whatever reason on my screen, uh, the Frost Dragons are supposed to have a blue orb circling them when they reflect damage, uh, and for me they did not. Um, there was no blue orb there at all, the Frost Dragon just looked completely normal and it was reflecting damage on me, and that happened a couple times, so I kind of got owned, um, and that's the reason I couldn't stay here very long. But I figured I would just um, do this for 15 minutes and then multiply that number by 5 and, or by 4, excuse me. Uh, and that's how much um, XP and money you'd gain per hour. Um, so I found the XP here is pretty good. I'll just talk about the XP and charms a little bit. Uh, I did have a charm collector in my inventory. They do drop a lot of green charms like most dragons, but unlike most dragons, they drop a, a few crimson charms as well and also some golds if you're into that. Um, other than the frost dragon bones, they also drop a few noted herbs and noted water talismans. I believe they drop two noted water talismans at a time, which is worth 9k, so that's kind of worth picking up. And also some of the higher valued herbs like lantidimes and dwarf weeds are worth, you know, 8 or 9k each. So they're nearly as much as a frost dragon bone and they're notable. Um, so I believe those are worth picking up as well. And of course you just have to keep in mind that I do have a yak and not everybody does have a yak. And this is the part, yeah, where I get hit by that frost dragon. Um, and apparently there is an orb around it. And I'm getting hit even though I saw no orb on my screen. So that's kind of annoying and I very, very nearly died there. Um, but anyway, not everyone has a yak, however you can also do these uh, fairly well if you just use a war tortoise and store the bones in the war tortoise and come back. Um, obviously you do need 85 dungeoneering and preferably a chaotic weapon to actually kill these. Um, without a chaotic weapon it's just not very effective um, because you can't kill them fast enough. With a chaotic weapon, if you attack one at a time, you can kill it before the orb goes around it. Basically, I was just using turmoil and soul split and then extreme attack and strength, so I wasn't going all out with overloads or anything, and I was just wearing bandos. Um, I have not been mentioning my gear in previous guides, so I figured I'd just touch on that. And then, of course, my weapon is uh, Chaotic Claws, which are the only uh, main and offhand chaotic that I have that was... Uh, well, I also have a maul. But um, I only have a main hand rapier. I do not have an offhand rapier. Um, so I figured I would just use the claws, and they worked great. So anyway, the XP here is uh, 330k melee XP per hour. That's uh, nearly 250,000 in either attack strength and defense, and then 83,000 hit points XP per hour. Um, so the XP is very good. It's also worth noting that I was on a German world because there was bots on the English worlds. There wasn't a lot of bots. There was like five bots in a world, and they all seemed to attack, like they all attacked one dragon. Um, so you could get around uh, by going on the English worlds and still get a fair amount of kills. However, I just wanted to come to a German world um, since it was a bit more laid back and there is only one other person there. So um, anyway, there was plenty of frost dragons. So that's about all. This is my last frost dragon kill right here. Um, I believe I got about 45 bones. Excuse me, 42 bones in 15 minutes. Um, so that's 463k GP in 15 minutes. If you multiply that by 4, that's nearly 1.9 mil per hour. Um, so the money is pretty good. Obviously, it's a little less if you have a war tortoise because you have to bank more often. But uh, either way, it's pretty good money. Uh, the charms are decent-ish, um, and the XP is fairly good as well. So I hope this was an informational video, and I hope it helped you guys out. And uh, yeah, if you have 85 Dungeoneering, you need some combat XP and money, uh, try out some Frost Dragons and see what you think. That's all for this video, and farewell.